Hi, this is Kirandeep Kaur and this is my second video on InterVJS. Uh, today we are going to discuss two questions. The first one is the difference between call, apply and bind and second one is to implement bind. So to, before moving on to these questions, we should first of all know what is bind and to know bind, we should know what is this keyword in JavaScript. So I'm assuming that we all are familiar with this keyword in JavaScript. So it actually refers to the current context. So if you are using this inside the object, then this actually refers to that object itself right so uh, what is the concept of bind then so let's say i have this keyword inside a function and i'm calling that function from somewhere inside my program so the value of that this keyword which is inside that function purely depends on the execution context of that function which means from where are you calling that function the value of this keyword, because it's very important, I'm going to repeat this once again. The value of the this keyword is purely dependent from where are you calling that function that is on its execution context. So if we, let's suppose, want to change the context, if we want this to refer to some other object, how can we do that? This is where bind, call and apply comes to an action. And now we are going to understand it. Uh, with the help of an example so let's just take uh, one object so i'm just taking some random numbers uh, like some random variable names and this is my name only and we also have one function here which actually returns us my name that is our first name so it returns me this this is my object and i also have one function um, just give it a name first name uh, okay sorry like this and I am just console logging um, I in this function I am going to call this um, function that we have in our object like this and eventually I'm going to call this function the first name function so what exactly is going to happen? It's not going to find the get first name because it it's, it'll not be able to get get first name on the this on this current context which is this function itself, right? So what we have to do now this get first name is in this object. So while we are calling this function, we have to mention the specific context that this function should run with. That is, what should be the value of this? inside this function should be so this is where your call apply and bind comes to an action so you will call this function and you will call call function on it first and the argument that is take is the context itself context refers to what is the going to be the value of this so what is what do we want it we want the value of this to be this object so that object dot get first name it should be able to find that out so I am just going to pass object here. So ideally it should be able to find object, object.get first name here, and it should be able to console log it for us. Let's see what's the result. That's where I am getting this dot get first name and you're calling and you're getting function here yeah, because you need to actually get this done, right? So uh, this actually refers to this object. So this object dot first name should be this, right? So because if you are not calling it this way, it will just going to return the first name and the this keyword is, you know, just going to be the global context. And in the global context, the first name is our function. So that's a caveat of using the same names. So sorry for that. But this is how, you know, you get to learn things as well. So you will just do this, this dot first name, and you will get the console log currently, and that is your first name here, right? And similarly, we can uh, do the same thing by using apply and just passing our context here, and you will see this. And the same thing we can do with find as well. Oh, but we haven't seen anything like no result for bind. Why is that so? So this is where uh, we'll be able to differentiate call, apply and bind. So the call and apply, they actually update your context accordingly and executes the function there itself. 
so it will execute the function there itself and you will be able to see this statement this console log statement here for call and for reply as well but for bind you will not be able to get anything because it does not execute the function it actually just return the function itself and one has to actually explicitly execute that function from wherever the person wants to so here we have to explicitly call this function and now you will be able to see the console log here in the right so that's the difference between call apply and bind but what is the difference between call and apply right so let's say uh, this was our function and this was a function with no arguments but let's say i want to pass one or uh, i want to pass two arguments and i want to console log those arguments here so this is my function and how i'm going to pass these two arguments here so that these are going to be the second parameter and this is going to be the third parameter so as many arguments that i want to pass i have to pass that individually uh, comma separated here this has to be let's say argument one and this has to be the argument two right so args one and args two right so here you will pass those two uh, arguments comma separated and you will be getting those two arguments here and this way but in apply you can simply pass the array argument one comma arguments two and you will be able to get the same result there itself so that's the difference between call apply and bind so call and apply it, it, it's just a matter of how you are passing the parameters or your arguments to the function and bind is that you have to call the function itself it will return the function and you have to execute it explicitly from wherever you are calling that function right so that's a basic difference between and this is what we actually mean by bind so now it's a time to actually implement bind it's not difficult but it is something that we need to actually understand first of all so first of all we need to create the prototype right so it has to be function dot prototype dot bind and that's also our function the first thing uh, so again we are going to not just looking into the solution but we are looking into how to tackle the problem step by step so the very first thing that we need here is uh, what are going to be the arguments and what are we going to return from here so the argument is going to be just the context that we need here right so the context here is going to be that and uh, the bind as we have already discussed it returns the function itself so it will return the function itself some anonymous function eventually we have to call the call or apply method here in the bind prototype right so we have to get the function itself on which we are going to call the call and apply so this inside this is the function itself right so we are going to take that reference of this inside this function and then we can simply just call this with what with the context and from where the context will come we are passing that in here so that's it so this is the implementation of the bind method here so yeah this is pretty much simple uh, but there are kind of two to three follow-ups that we need to take care uh, the first one is the interviewer can actually ask you again that question that if we have to consider the arguments in here then how are we going to tackle this because if you are using call here and if you have to pass the arguments then how are we going to do that so you can actually simply just use apply here and we all know that we have a by default arguments which actually gives us the arguments object which actually gives us the all the arguments for that function so you can just use the spread operator and probably just get all the arguments in that array and pass that into the apply method so that's the first thing and the second thing the same question that can be asked in a different way uh, the first thing is how can you create the polyfill for bind so that's the same thing we do not have let's suppose we do not have any bind method and we need to create a polyfill for that uh, so that's the another way of asking the same question so the another way to ask the same question is um, that there's this bind function that you have to implement it takes one function it takes one context and you have to implement that 
the same functionality that we have in our inbuilt bind. So in that case, you'll just, you know, you don't need this, you just need this. And maybe you can just, you know, pass something like bind context and it will have this function. So you don't need to get that from this keyword and another thing will be same as it is. So these are the some of the you know caveats of uh, this problem, this bind problem that can be asked in three to four ways. Uh, a theoretical part would be just the difference between call, apply and bind and how would you actually specify the context while calling the function. So these are kind of the questions and the patterns uh, with which the call, apply and bind can be um, actually asked in an interview. If you like this video, if you like the content, please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and I'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you.